Welcome back to Millia Cockapoo. As summer has finally arrived now in England, this video is going to be five ways to keep your dog cool during the hot summer months. Number one, make sure your pup always has access to shaded spots both indoors and outdoors. This will allow the pup to take them off into the shaded spaces when they're getting overheated, but depending on how stubborn your pup is and how much of a sun worshipper they are, you might have to take them indoors into the shaded spaces. Millie will pretty much take herself off into the shaded spaces and she'll only sit out in the sun for a couple of minutes before she gets overheated and will go and lay down in a cool spot. Number two, just like us humans, during the hot summer months, they need to stay hydrated. So make sure there's always plenty of fresh, cool water available for your pup. You'll probably notice that they'll drink a lot more with it being hotter as well. So just try and change the water every couple of hours just to make sure it's nice and fresh and doesn't go warm. Number three, give your pup frozen treats. This could be anything from a stuffed con that you've frozen to ice cubes frozen banana, frozen mango, frozen peas, other homemade treats that you might make, dog safe ice cream. Millie's favourite is just plain ice cubes and frozen peas and they just help to lower their body temperature. I particularly like giving her ice cubes as well because sometimes it's hard to get her to drink but at least I know she's getting some sort of liquid in her through the ice cube and also with ice cubes she can have as many as she wants. Whereas with other treats, you need to limit how many you're giving them a day. Number four, invest in either a cooling mat, a cooling collar or a cooling jacket. I've got a cooling mat. This is Millie's cooling mat. And she's only a tiny dog. She weighs 7.6 kilograms. And in harnesses, she normally wears an extra small or a small. So she's a tiny dog. Yet this is a large mat and I'd say it's big enough for her to lay out comfortably on. So definitely, if you're getting a mat, size up and go bigger than what you think they need because I'd say a large should be able to fit a Labrador on and they're not going to be able to sprawl out on this, no way. But like I said, you can also get jackets to go on them and collars if they don't like laying on a mat, which I might get Millie one of those as well. I will link this one down in the description if you're interested in getting a mat. But what these do, and the collars and the jackets are the same principle, they are pressure sensitive, so when the dog lays on them, or even if you sit on it, it will lower the body temperature by seven to eight degrees normally. So it just helps them cool out. And last but not least, number five. Play lots of water games with your dog. Whether that's going swimming in a lake, river or the ocean, getting your pup a little paddling pool for them to dip their feet into, or a, a massive paddling pool for your back garden, or turning on a sprinkler. Millie loves playing with the hose pipe and chasing that around, and it definitely helps to keep her cool. And I find by doing that, it gives me a peace of mind knowing that she, her body temperatures have been dropped quite considerably and it's a great way to get you both outdoors and having a fun game while at the same time keeping them cool. So that's the last of my five tips. If you've got any other tips on keeping your pups cool then please leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't already then please subscribe and turn on the bell notifications as it really supports my channel. Go and follow us over on our Instagram, at Millia Cuckapoo, where we post daily updates. And we will see you next week. Bye. Here in England, yes, Millie. I know. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs>